Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Square Roots Worksheets. So this video will give us a few slides uh, using exercises to practice the idea of square roots. Now if we remember from the previous lesson we find the square root of a number by finding two numbers that we multiply together to give us that number. But each of the numbers has to be the same. So we have to find two numbers that are the same. We multiply them together to give us 4. We have to find two numbers that are the same. We multiply them together to give us 25. So that's the same with all of these examples. So for those 10 examples, that's exactly the same. And the other very, very important thing to remember that the square root of a number is positive. So we'll just put that short little thing there meaning positive. The square root of a number is positive. So those 10 answers are all positive. Use a factor tree to find the square root of each of the following numbers. So that is contained in the previous lesson and it's easy to go back to check that. That's contained in one of the playlists and it's lesson 15. Quite easy to check that. So we just remember what factor trees look like. Okay, that's what they look like. You just keep building them up. Quite easy to do, and that's how you get your answers right at the end, and they're all prime numbers. So just build up that factor tree till you go right to the end with all prime numbers, and that'll give you the numbers that are multiplied together to give you these numbers, and then you can work out the square root. Now here's something a little bit different. Right, true or false? The square root of a number is always positive. So if you think about what we've said previously on a number of occasions, both in this video and in the lesson, you should know that answer. Now you have to write true or false for this one. The square root of 9 plus the square root of 4 equals the square root of 13. Now you know how to calculate each of those two. So you'll know for sure whether that's true or false. Number three, the square root of 25 is negative 5. So if you've got the answer to this one correctly, you will know what the answer to this one is. The next one, the square root of 36 all squared is 6. Well, we all know exactly what the definition of a square root is, how to calculate it, which means we should know what happens when that is squared. We should know what we end up with. So you, you'll work out whether this answer here is true or false. The square root of 4 to the power of 3 is 8. We have to work out whether that's true or false. We know how to find the square root. We know how to cube a number. So we should be able to work that out. And the last one, the square root of 100 divided by 2 is the same as the square root of 50. So we have to work out whether that's true or false. So this video has introduced us to two slides and it gives us practice in doing exercises involving square roots. And there are some very interesting problems here, some interesting sums where we have to write true or false. But if we know the definition of square root very well, they are quite straightforward.